recent study, 61% of the parents wished that they should have started saving for their child's education earlier. And 41% of the parents wish that they should have invested more for their child's education. This month we are celebrating Children's Day and that is why it is important for us to know whether we have planned for a higher education for children or not. And if you have not planned for a higher education then don't worry as in this video we will be discussing this in detail so stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Pintu and you are watching Friday First Cut series. I am Nidhi Manchanda, Certified Financial Planner and Head of Training, Research and Development at Pintu. As we discuss about planning for a child's education, one thing is certain that parents would try to do anything to provide the best education for their children and this has been proved by a recent study where 59% parents said that they stopped their leisure activities like going on vacations to fund the education expenses of their children. So why not plan early and avoid any compromises on your lifestyle later? So let's see what should be the process. The first and the most important thing that you need to do is to define your goal. So how much is required for your child's education? You need to find out that first. Now you might not know what your child would do once he grows up but this would be a rough estimate that you need to take. Now for example we assume an MBA program would cost somewhere around 25 lakhs currently then what would be an estimate for you? Now this is the current cost you need to inflate this amount to arrive at a figure which you will require once your child is ready for that higher education. So you need to inflate this 25 lakhs amount. Now you might have a question that how much inflation should be considered. Now as for the past data, higher education costs are rising by 10%. So if you apply this 10% inflation to 25 lakhs of cost, after say 15 years this will become approximately 1.04 crores. So any education that requires 25 lakhs now will actually be 1.04 crores after 15 years to get the similar education if you are assuming an inflation of 10%. So goal here is to accumulate 1.04 crores in 15 years time. In similar way define your goal. Now your current cost estimate and time horizon would be different. So the amount that will come will be different for different individuals. Now that you know what your goal is, the second step is to find out how much you need to invest to achieve that goal. Now it depends on couple of factors. The main thing is that what will be the rate of return that you will assume to do this calculation. And to assume this rate of return, there are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind. The first being the time horizon. So if you have a longer time horizon, you can invest into more volatile asset, riskier assets like equity markets and therefore you can assume a higher rate of return. On the other hand, if your time horizon is not that long, then you will have to be a little conservative in assuming a rate of return for yourself. Second thing is your risk appetite. If you have a higher risk appetite, then you can assume a rate of return on a higher side. But on the other hand, if you are more conservative, then your rate of return assumption should be on a lower side. Please note that a diversified asset allocation is suggested for each of your goals and we have discussed this in detail in one of our previous videos on asset allocation. So I highly recommend that you check out that video as well. So to continue with your example where we discussed that we need to accumulate 1.04 crores in 15 years time, there are a couple of things that you can do. So first, if you are investing this amount, being more conservative and assuming a rate of return of 6%, then 35,730 monthly investment is required to achieve this goal. On the other hand, if you are assuming a 10% return, then a monthly investment of approximately 25,000 would be sufficient to achieve this goal. And if you are on an aggressive side assuming a 15% rate of return, then 15,500 approximately monthly investment will help you to achieve your goal of 1.04 crores in 15 years time period. Now this is different for different rate of returns assumed because your investment strategy would be different. Now this calculation is based on considering that you will be starting with the goal right now fresh. But in case you have already made certain investments for your child education, then you need to take into consideration whatever lump sum that you already have and considering that investment what more you need to do to achieve that goal. Now in this example, let's say if we assume that you already have 5 lakh rupees invested for a child, then in that case additional 8,500 on a monthly basis invested at 15% will help you achieve your goal. 
After doing this calculation, I would like to share three important points that you need to keep in mind while planning your child's education. The first and the most important one is this is a long term goal that you are achieving and that is why it is really important that when you are near to your goal of getting that higher education, in that case you should try to switch from your equity investments to debt investments. So although it's a long term goal, you might be investing into equity markets either directly or through mutual funds. But when you are near to your goal, at least you know when you are just two years away to your actual goal, then in a phased manner try to switch from equity to debt gradually. That is what is suggested so that you avoid any volatility that happens at the last moment. The second thing that you need to keep in mind is to create an emergency fund for yourself. Now once you create an emergency fund, it will help you to not dig into your child's education fund in case any unforeseen situation arises and it ends up cash outflow from your side. So in order to protect the child education corpus that you are creating for your child, it is really important that you have an emergency fund set aside. So in case any emergency situation arises, you have that set aside fund to take care of that instead of digging in into your child education fund. The third thing is to ensure your life to protect the future of your child. You can buy an adequate term plan for yourself and we have already made a detailed video on life insurance and term plans. So do check out that for more details. I hope it is now clear how you can plan for your child's education. In case you need any assistance to plan for your child's education, our Fintu finance experts are available. You can reach out to them for any further financial query. And for more such videos, do subscribe to our channel.